is it is going to be seriously interesting to see who's along with Bonner. Um, you know, will will he have you know a really young kind of innovative coach with him? I I'd say. It needs said, that. It, it needs that balance. So obviously, like Bonner is thought of as an excellent coach, an excellent motivator. And so obviously now he's going to have to delegate and be the manager at the top of the tree and decide who's doing this, that and the other. So he's going to need that blend of modern and experience. He's got the experience. I think like a lot of people are already have been, they don't like hearing Declan Carr. I mean, he obviously would bring a lot to the table in certain respects, but people will look at the way that he left the, the Tipperary ladies footballers after one year. And this is a team that beat Mead, who won the All-Ireland last week a couple of years ago, and they were in a relegation playoff. Now, obviously, there were certain players missing and, and, and all that kind of stuff, so there are excuses there that you can make. But some people would be like, well, look, this is, this is a, will this end up being unbelievably old school if we have two guys who were playing back in the 80s and the 90s? So that, that's more the theory. I'm playing devil's advocate, throwing that out there more than anything else. Can I ask you, um, hand in your heart, would you be in twos as a, as a player? Uh, if, if what? With the, with the appointment. As Colin Bonner? Yeah. I think, you know, when you weigh it up, I mean, and, and I do, I have a problem with the appointment process and the way that worked. And I I, th I can understand why Willie Maher would be quite sore with the way things were done. And then I look at the fact that Tipperary don't have a sponsor yet. And I'm thinking, what's actually going on here? And I start to, I, I'm a little bit kind of more concerned about that stuff than anything else. But I think Colin Bonner is very, very well respected in Tipperary. So, I mean, someone joked when I said last week or the other day, if I can put my tip hat here on for a second, there was loads of comments suggesting that I never actually take it off. <laughs> but again, if, I, if I'm going to put it, go into supporter mode, you can't but like get yourself into a mindset where you're like, right, you have to give this guy a fair crack of the whip. And even though people would be like, he was never in the conversation before for Tipperary manager. But like the, to be fair, he should have been in the conversation before. And now that it's happening now, when you almost feel like the horse should have bolted for him, you, it, it makes more sense to look at his CV, which I've already ran through, and go, do you know what? There's a lot of experience there. And like you said, he's involved at Dixborough at the moment in Kikenny. So he's obviously coaching at a high end and club level. Dixborough are a very good team. They're looking to play progressive hurling. Porrick Fanning, it didn't work out for him in his one season with Watford, but he was looking to play very modern hurling. It just, it probably needed a little bit more time. But the results meant that, you know, it was always going to be difficult for him to keep that job. So I, I think you have to weigh it up and say, do you know what? He's done enough here to, be, to go, do you know what? Expectations are going to be lowered now because it's not this glitz and glamour type um, appointment that, I had kind of mentioned, and actually it was a great question in here from Lionel Strongjaw to that effect. Shane, given that you said after Liam Cahill, the person who takes the tip job would have to be a big name or they would start at a disadvantage, do you think that Bonner is a big enough name? And do you think that people will have the patience with him given that there's a bit of a rebuild required in tip next year? So that, that is the perfect question. He's not, I mean, in, within Tipperary and certain age groups, he is a big name. Like, uh, you know, himself and, and the brothers playing for Tipperary. I mean, that was fairly iconic stuff back in the 80s and the 90s. So I, I think it, everyone feels like this should be a safe pair of hands. Um, a lot of the comments I get are, it needs to get the right team around. Him. So you have to trust him to do that. And, you know, all of those names that I've mentioned, it's just rumor mill stuff at the moment. So we don't actually know. Now, will there be patience? I think there will be patience during the league games. But as we've already said, the first round of the championship is going to be against Waterford. It's going to be in Walsh Park. And it's going to be against Liam Cahill, who turned down the job. Or, sorry conversations broke down and he's decided to stay with Watford and use the, the term loyalty. Now, he may become tip manager down the line and best of luck to him, but we, we just don't know what's going to happen. But do, is there going to be patience if Tipperary lose to Watford in the first round of Munster next year, no matter who retires and whatever? The patience there's no will patience. end after the league. Yeah, yeah there's, no, there's no real patience when it comes to Championship Ireland, really. There's not, an age just... like us in tip. <laughs> Jesus Christ I'm actually am amazed usually it's awfully apes usually you're talking about oh, but, um, <laughs> but uh, no the, the, there won't be much patience um, when it comes to championship results and getting results there's not going to be um, depending on you know how many changes there are and how much he goes with youth um, like if, if he you know it's a radical overhaul completely and we're seeing a load of new faces then there has to be a degree of patience. But it's going to be so interesting to see his league teams over the first couple of games because you're just going to have to, you're just going to, have to give you its fling. If you enjoyed this piece of content, please follow us on YouTube by hitting the subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of the page, which helps the channel grow. And if you want audio podcasts, go to patreon.com forward slash our game.